Hi there! I'm about to publish a new app called uh, Python Valve and uh, this is I think a good opportunity for me to make a new video which is long overdue. I would like to show you how to install my app and go all the way until you are ready to insert some actual 3D items in your planned 3D models. So let's get started with it. Here is the first step. This is the installer itself. Just double click on it and there is a warning message. I made this warning message that this application will install new Python scripts in the CPEC common folder. We will check where it is. Please run plant register custom scripts command in plant 3D after the installation and then restart the program. So it is very important after installing the app, the first thing you should do is starting plant 3D and enter this very long command into the command prompt window at the bottom of plant 3D and hit enter. After this script registration run successfully, then you should close Plant 3D and then everything is finished and your scripts are ready to be used. So please press yes to confirm that you have read this message that you should run this command. And the installer is detecting where it should place its files. I mean these scripts files are in the Plan 3D content folder. It is by default on the C drive and looks like something like this. So it is C AutoCAD Plan 3D content. Maybe there is a year here, I mean Plan 3D 2020 or whatever. Or it is possible that it is on a network drive. For example, in my company where I work, it's not my company, so the company where I work is using a Synology network drive and the content folder is on that drive and it and it doesn't look like that it is plant 3D content or whatever. So the installer is detecting what is your current settings and it will install the scripts according to your settings. So it will detect if it's on, on, on a network drive or on your C drive. So yes, I hit again, which means in Hungarian, yes. Sorry, I am running Hungarian Windows. Next warning, please consider the provided catalogs and specs files only samples. You have purchased a handful of scripts with those. You can create as many catalogs and spec sheets as you feel, please. The sample catalogs are overwritten with each reinstall and update. You have been warned. So what does, but this means that uh, obviously, I provided a sample catalog, which you can start using immediately. But, but, there is a big but. If you put many, many items into that catalog, this is just one file. I will show you that also, where it is. So it is just one simple file. If you put many hours of work into that file, customizing your valves, adding additional valves, adding more... I don't know, expansion joints, stuff like that. And then, for whatever reason, you reinstall the app, that sample catalog will be overwritten with the original sample catalog. So all your hard work will be gone. And it happened in the past for my previous apps, my other apps, for some of my customers, and they were obviously pissed off for real reason, because they lost a lot of work. So that's why I've put this message here to be warned that if you are working in the sample catalog, every install will make your work disappear. So if you want to use that sample catalog as your working catalog, please make a copy of it, rename it or whatever. Okay, so I hit okay, that's international. Okay, so click install to continue with the installation. Install, yes, and there is another warning message that the installer is about to or overwrite this catalog, this sample catalog. So are you sure, are you really sure that you want to overwrite it? Because if you have a hard work in that one, you will lose that. Okay, now it is no problem for me, I do not have any objection. 
we can override it if it wants. There is a sample DVG also provided in this folder, so yeah, you can overwrite it. And that's all. Finish. The installation is finished. Okay, so first warning message was about running that plant register custom scripts command. So I start plant 3D. Currently I'm using 2020 version, so I am just waiting to be started. Just a moment. And I will register all the newly installed scripts. So I open just one drawing. Because until that, I do not have the command window at the bottom. Actually, this is the sample DVG provided with my app, my Python web app. So, plant register custom scripts, enter. That's all. That's all. You have done your job. I closed Plan 3D. So now the Python web app is installed and you are ready to be ready to use it. So next step we will start the spec editor. So I would like to show you that in Plan 3D currently I am in a project called Python Pipe Supports. That is the project name. I have this other app called Python Pipe Support and I am using that project to test the new support and stuff like that. So that is my currently selected active project. So the first thing you should have in mind is that what project you are using. So for example, this is the project folder. Okay, sorry, it is again in Hungarian, but this means that it is the documents folder. So in the, inside the documents folder, I have the pipe supports folder. And this contains all the data, the DVG, the spec sheets, everything regarding this project. This is my active project now in the Plant 3 d app. Inside this folder structure, you see many, many folders. Then 3D models, for example, are the ones storing the actual 3D DVGs. The orthos are storing the actual output you make, usually for an engineering project. I mean, these are the actual output, the DVG, the, the flat DVG, which you can, what you can print out. And um, there are ISOs also. So what we are interested in, mostly, are the spec sheets. So these are the spec sheets on this, in this project. These are different, how to say, piping styles, let's say. So if in the model, I mean in the Plan 3D, you select this spec sheet, you have uh, the available items inside this spec sheet. If you select the other one, you have those. So what I want to say is that you have to check what is your active project and which spec sheet you want to edit. I mean, to which spec sheet you want to add your new Python-based valves. So if I go here, I am back in the spec editor. I just hit open and uh, I go to my documents folder and to my pipe supports folder. So this is the folders, what you have seen before. Inside I go to the spec sheets folder and here are all my beautiful, actually it is the default spec sheets in Plan 3 d So I open 10HC01. Frankly speaking, I don't even know what this 10HC01 means. Let me know in the comments below if you know. So I open this one. And I will see that these are, on the top, the items what are already inside this spec sheet. Actually, there are many, many valves here. But I will add some more. So for this spec sheet, for this 10HC01, on the bottom part, the spec editor already opened the used catalogs. The catalogs are storing all the information of many, many valves, many, many pipes, fittings, whatever you want. But these are relatively big files. So in the spec sheets, there are only a handful of items which you can use in the 3D modeling. 
in the catalog there are many 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 items you see below <laughs> these are only valves if i go to the pipes and fittings catalogs these are the two catalogs which are opened by this spec sheet so in this spec sheet these are the two catalogs which are used from these items they are putting by default some fittings and some valves so if i go to the pipes and fittings so you see this is the pipes and fittings catalogs i am only scrolling through bolt sets now and flanges gaskets nipples whatever springs tees unions welding seal but so there are many items and just a handful at the top if you want to add some more items from a different catalog you have to open that catalog here so i just hit open catalog and the python valve cat catalog is inside the cpac common folder and inside the python valve folder version 1.00 now it is the initial release of this app so i go inside and this is the catalog so if i open this catalog you see there are some sample valves in these catalogs there are ball valves butterfly valves expansion joints gate valves non-valve pneumatic pressure reducing valves regulating valves actually these are the valves that i am using for my own work so if it is useful for you feel free to use them so i just add let's say butterfly valve, manual pneumatic uh, manual gate valve and let's say an expansion joint so these are here you see from the bottom i have added them to the top these are here here and the expansion joint is a bonus because it's not a valve it is in the sleeves point so i just hit save so my changes are saved just a hint Control plus s is not working in this plenty this pack editor i don't know why i'm, I'm always hitting Control s in plan 3d but it is not working here i'm going back to plan 3d Basically, I have opened the installed catalog on the, at the bottom side and just hitting add to spec button, I added some items to the top. So I open again the same file and I will choose this 10HC01. These gray items, I mean the icons, on, in the dynamic pipe spec are gray are the default items there some bends flanges pipes reducers ho oh, oh, we have a sleeve there which is an, actually an expansion joint it is having this nice blue icon what i have done and there are some additional uh, valves you can identify them from their blue color you see some butterfly valves gate valve so if i select this spec i the m50 pipe is okay for me i just hit root pipe and just start using and putting some pipes down there okay i put some dm100 also so now what as we have these pipes we can just simply start inserting our beautiful valves so a manual butterfly valve like this and as you can see the color codes are working most are yellow so you are not really seeing it but let's say 125 so it is this cyan color and if i enter insert a butterfly valve here it is color coded like that gate valves are also working just fine as intended all valves are okay i can try some expansion joints you see it is also color coded so if i put it here it is working like that in 10 minutes after installation you have reached the project spec file you added some uh, additional valves and expansion joints to your project's catalog and then you are just refresh your 
spec sheet and ready to insert the new items. One thing is that if I go back to the spec sheet, let's say I want to add pneumatic gate valve also, I just hit add spec, save with the button, I go back to plan 3D and this gate valve is not here yet. So I have to refresh it. I usually do it by clicking to some other spec and then back. So after this change, the additional valve, yeah, pneumatic gate is here. So it is ready to be added. So that's all. I added a new item in 10 seconds. So that's it for the first step of this new app and how to get started with it. Thank you for watching and see you until next time.